Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. And wow, we're only four weeks away from The Flash returning to our screens with, as I said, Season 5. And people have been wondering, you know, we got a promo like two weeks ago. When's the next time we're going to get another trailer or anything like that? And you know what? The Flash and the CW were like, let's be nice to our fans and let's drop some promo images. And that's exactly what happened. So there's actually a decent amount here to go over, which is surprising for an episode one in comparison to Arrow, who had their promo images for their episode one release yesterday. They had five released. Uh, us Flash fans, we got 19. So there's a decent amount to go over. But of course, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts on the photos, because there, there is some interesting stuff here. So you just let me know which one you like the most and what gets you thinking and stuff like that. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows support if you're excited for The Flash. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So just quickly before we go over the promo images, they actually did release a new poster for this season. So here it is right here. You can see it's the, you know, Barry is the Flash in his new suit and with Nora suited up as XS. Now, obviously the new suit has been one of those ones where there's some photos that look really good with it and some photos where maybe it doesn't look that good. In this one, it looks good. And I like all the lightning bolts and stuff over it. As I said, the suit's meant to have all these like almost like like, almost like like a lightning sort of protruding from it all the time so this is an example of what it should look like i guess maybe a bit you know it's a bit over the top in this poster but on the show be a bit toned down but it should roughly look something like this but um yeah i think this is a pretty cool poster and i think it fits in with dropping these promo images as well so let's jump into them so we're basically just going to go in order of uh, how they were put up you know with the websites and stuff like that so the first couple of photos we see here are actually of Barry sitting down with Joe. So if we hadn't had that promo two weeks ago, we would just think this is just like a normal sit down, nothing too much to think about here. However, obviously in that trailer from a couple of weeks ago, we did see Cicada, the new villain for this season, standing behind Joe in a pretty menacing way. So this looks very similar to what Joe looked like in that shot from the trailer. So I feel that this is Barry coming to Joe after that's happened, or it could possibly be uh, before that. So I think this scene is connected to that in some way, whether it's before Joe gets uh, met by Cicada, or it's after and Barry comes to check in with him. Because as we can see here, we do have Barry and Joe looking at something from CCPD. So this could be connected to Cicada, or it could be some information that Cicada needs. I don't know. I think this is actually probably before Joe, you know, has his interaction with Cicada because Joe doesn't look that shook up. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to follow and maybe Cicada knows that there's like some information here that he needs or something along those lines. But, um, yeah, we all know that Joe's going to be met with, met by Cicada. So, uh, uh, look forward to that one. My good old friend, Joe West. The next couple of photos are, you know, we've seen this stuff before. It's Nora coming to the party. It's, uh, Nora coming to the party at the end of season four. And as we should all know by now, if you did not know, I'll let you know now, season five, you know, episode one begins straight after season, uh, the end of season four. So we pick up straight as season four ended, which is pretty rare, uh, pretty rare. Sorry. Like I know in previous seasons, we've had follow-ups from the end of seasons, but we usually have a big time jump, like five months roughly. Uh, and then we might have like a flashback to the, what happened, you know, following the end of a season. So the fact that we are like picking up the present time on the show is just after the end of the previous season is actually very interesting. And I think it's actually a good concept because it would have been weird if they just skipped over five months of Nora being in this timeline. I think we needed to pick up as soon as, you know, Nora interacted with these people and went, yo, I'm Barry and Iris's daughter. Now, the funniest thing about these photos, and we also got it from the trailers, I guess, but these photos really highlighted how, like, Nora is excited to be there and she seems to be the only one smiling and everyone else is just, like, either confused um, or just uh, a bit irritated. And the best example of this is Barry and Iris right here. They look like very upset parents, which um, is interesting. I'm still a bit like up in the air how they're going to handle this whole relationship where Barry and Iris are being parents, but they're being parents to a daughter who is essentially the same age as them. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they handle that. So Nora is going to be about like 24 to 26, something around that time at frame. Uh, and Barry and Iris are like 29, 30. That's it. So they're a tiny bit older than what Nora would be currently like you know there's Nora that's here but um it's still gonna be weird like imagine parenting someone that's only a couple of years younger than you it's gonna be a bit strange so I'm intrigued to see how that's handled and how that's presented on screen but yeah out of these uh two in regards to Barry and Iris I think Iris looks the most pissed off um by the I don't know maybe Candace Patton just pulls off a really good face in regards to that but um yeah Nora I think might be getting uh, grounded who knows now we do get you know Wally's in these photos I think Wally's in two photos or something now 
Wait, Wally was in the Comic-Con trailer, but he wasn't in the trailer from, what, two weeks ago? Oh, actually, sorry, he was in, like, one shot, but it was this exact same, uh, exact same scene, like, the whole, you know, party for the baby after the end, well, in the season four finale. So, I have no idea how much Wally's in, uh, you know, in this episode one. We know he's going to be in three episodes this season, the first episode being one of them, so he's in two more episodes. They say he's got a storyline. I have a feeling they're just going to write him out of the show, because I know how you give someone a storyline that's only in three episodes, and it's spread out throughout the whole season. It seems extremely strange how you can give someone a storyline in regards to that. So I feel they're going to write him out. Um, so this is basically uh, part one of three of the, uh, what do you call it, the Wally West farewell tour. So if you're a big Wally West fan, uh, you know, start taking some photos and taking some memories. Now we do see uh, Cecile Horton here with her baby Jenna Marie West, of course. Now most of you would know Cecile has been upgraded to a series regular character for this season, which I'm still surprised by it, a bit confused and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are as well because I think people are wondering how they're going to in, like include her to the point where it would warrant a season regular because last season she was there a lot and she was only a recurring character and even then you felt like there was maybe a bit too much to seal for what her story warranted so is there something up with Jenna Marie West in the future is there something going on with her and Nora? Is Nora actually Jenna Marie West? Is that one of the theories that's coming out? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see like why they made Cecile a series regular. Maybe she gets killed by Cicada and they had to give her a lot of story to make that death emotional enough. Who knows what they're going to do, but um, I don't know. Maybe Jenna Marie West is just something in the future and it's just worth having the time of you know Cecile being there, which leads us to interact with Jenna Marie West as well. We'll have to wait and see, obviously. Now, we've seen a couple of shots of this scene in the Comic-Con trailer, as well as the trailer that we got a couple of weeks ago, and that's Barry in his Season 1 suit, and we know that this is actually in present time, so this is following the end of Season 4, that he's going to be jumping into the Season 1 suit to stop a crime or something along those lines. Now, people have been asking me, like, oh, why doesn't he just chuck on the Season 4 suit? The Season 4 suit was destroyed in the finale, like, it's all burnt up, melted by punching the satellite and stuff like that, so that suit can't be used which is why we're getting this other new suit in season five, which we don't get a shot of in these promo images, but we do in that post and we've seen it a couple of times before uh, anyway. The interesting thing is, why is it the season one suit? Uh, why isn't it like the season two suit with like the white emblem? Uh, correct me for all the season two and three suit, might I say, with the white emblem. Uh, did, did it get destroyed? I don't think it did. From what I remember, he fought Savitar with it. And then he just took it off and then went to the funeral for HR and then he went to the Speed Force at the end of Season 3. So the suit should still be there. I don't know, maybe they just wanted to use the Season 1 suit as like a complete flashback with the red emblem. Uh, that might just be their reasoning for it because I'm pretty sure the white emblem one should still be there. Um, but I don't know, correct me, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Here we get a couple of shots of Nora, and Nora in these photos just looks happy. She just looks like she's excited to be back in, in the past, hanging out with her parents, fighting crime with her dad. She's like the only one that's happy in these photos, which is really surprising, but good on her. Good on her of having a good time. But obviously in this scene, uh, with this shot right here, she would be fighting alongside her father, probably for the first time. This looks like it's going to be like a crime that goes down basically after the party or something like that, or maybe like a couple of hours after, or maybe the next day. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing Nora might stuff up here and this might lead to Barry having to train her a bit more. But we did see in set photos this dude here with the black mask, and these, these uh, promo images do confirm that this is the villain of Gridlock. Now, Gridlock in the comics is actually a, vil a villain of Bart Allen or Impulse. Um, so yeah, but, you know, we've seen that before. You know, Barry Allen gets villains that are actually Wally West villains in the comics and stuff like that. So this isn't a surprise that they've just taken this character and given it to Barry because when are they going to use Bart Allen and have, like, focus on him when they could use this villain? You know, he's only going to be for, like... Probably just this episode, if not just this scene. So, um, yeah, this is Gridlock, and um, yeah, that's basically all there is to talk about. Now, here is something interesting, and that is how we see uh, Ralph, Cisco, and Caitlin here. And there's a couple of photos of these three together. There's actually, I think, three or two or three. Uh, now, this is interesting. I wonder if this is going to be like a new trio that we see a lot, because Ralph is getting back into that private investigator, uh, detective work, and stuff like that. Uh, so, is he going to be helping Cisco and Caitlin while Barry's maybe more? you know, dedicated to spending time with Nora, is that what's going to, is that what's going to happen here, this looks like it's going to be the same scene that, you know, Barry and Nora were just dealing with there, with that gridlock villain, but as we can see, Cisco has one of his little scanny devices there, so they're probably just checking for uh, dark matter, because I'm guessing this gridlock dude is going to be a meta, and they're like, well, where are these new metas coming from, we've never seen him pop up before, so they're probably just scanning for dark matter, and this is probably going to lead to us finding out 
a new source for metahumans in Season 5, which will most likely be the satellite incident. However, it could be something else entirely. Once again, as I was saying, we've got some more shots of Nora here, and she just seems very happy in these photos. Now, I really do like the shot of her suit here. She actually has, like, some, like, nice detailing, like, under the arm and, like, alongside the, like, the abdomen, if you want to call it, in the chest. Like, some lettering and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. It's very blue. It's much more, like, bluey and purpley than some of the set photos gave away. And even some of the promo images they gave away, like, from the posters and stuff like that. It looks really good in this, in this photo here, I must say. I really like it here. Um, obviously the mask I think looks really cool. It's like not just your plain like dark mask. It's got some detailing on it and even the gauntlets have that detailing on it as well. Now we did see in that trailer from, I said, as like I've referenced this trailer a couple times from two weeks ago, we had that trailer where she used her gauntlets to basically like shoot something out there. So her gauntlets are just there for like Kevlar protection or some arrow stuff. They're actually like a form of pe or a piece of technology. So I wonder what else they can do. Are they sort of like a, like a little gadget gizmo sort of thing where, you know, other, it can use other things. Maybe it's not just a, you know, it's just not a portable projector. Maybe it is something else. So I'm intrigued to see what these gauntlets can do and whether they're a bit overpowered, they might have to destroy them at some point this season because if they're a bit too overpowered, then they might have to get rid of them. Um, but yeah, the gauntlets, some uh, piece of uh, technology there. And maybe uh, Barry might take some inspiration from them and might try to develop something along with them as well. Now, here is a different shot of Nora. This is from another scene that we know was shot. Now, this is her at night. Now, I think this is a scene just with Nora. It's just a Nora Allen scene. Um, I'm not too sure what the context around this is, but I think we're also meant to get a future scene with Nora. However, I don't think it's going to be her suited up as excess, like fighting crime necessarily in the future. I think it's going to be more like a, you know, like treading the path for how Nora went from the future and came back to the present time or our time. So that's the scene that's going to happen here. I don't think that's this scene right here that we're looking at. I think this is just, just this is just another scene in present time uh, where Nora has decided to go out and fight crime. But even then, if you look down Nora's like side here, as I said, like on the side of her jacket, she had like lettering, and on her pants she does. They look like the Speed Force symbols. Correct me if I'm wrong. They look like the Speed Force symbols. Um, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Are they the Speed Force symbols or not? They do. Okay, I'm just going to say they are the Speed Force symbols because that's exactly what they look like. So why the hell does Nora have those Speed Force symbols on her goddamn suit? What the hell is going on here? Why does she have Speed Force symbols there? Anyway, what the hell? But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on these uh, promo images. And yeah, Speed Force symbols on Nora's suit. What the hell? And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.